This question has a big old trap answer, and if you fell for it, you should have known better. It doesn't mean that it's an easy question. It's not a careless mistake, but you should sense that there is trouble as soon as you see this equation. So let's, let's go through it. According to data provided by the U.S. Department of Energy, the average price per gallon of regular gasoline in the United States from September 1st, 2014 to December 1st, uh, September 1st, 2014 to December 1st, 2014 is modeled by the function F defined below, where F of X is the average price per gallon X months after September 1st. The constant 2.74 in this function estimates which of the following. So many of you are going to look at this and you're going to go, oh, it 2.74 is nothing attached, no X. That's the Y intercept, right? So that's the starting point. So it's the starting point, which is September. So you're going to pick this, and you're going to be wrong. And you should have recognized that you'd be wrong. It's not a y equals mx plus b equation. It's so obvious here. As soon as you see an SAT question, and you see that they have taken something that you've done a thousand times and changed it, even if it's a slight change, you've got to recognize they're trying to set you up, right? So this does not look like a normal equation, right? We think of y equals mx plus b as being pretty simple. Now, you might be like, oh, well, I saw that y equals b plus mx is the actual setup. But no, it's not. This is not an x. This is an x minus 3, right? So something fishy is happening here. So how can we test whether c is the answer? Well, we can recognize that this is a point. We can plug points into equations here and test it out, right? So if we... Tried, if we thought C was the answer, right, we would say that, okay, that's when X is equal to zero because that's September 1st. That's the starting amount, right? X months after September 1st, September 1st, zero months after September 1st, right? So let's let's plug that in. Let's uh, run out of space. It's getting messy here, right? So that would be F of zero is equal to 2.74 minus 0.19 times zero minus three. So that's times negative three. So that's 2.74 plus, just use the calculator for a second, uh, 0.19 times 3 is 0.57. So plus 2.74, no, 3.31. So what does 2.74 in this function estimate? It doesn't estimate the, the price uh, when it's September 1st because the price when it's September 1st, according to the equation, is $3.31. So we could easily have proven this wrong, but I don't even think you need to do that. You just need to recognize that something strange is happening in this equation, and it takes another second of thought. Now, it is a y-intercept, or mm, I shouldn't say that. It is, uh, it is a specific value, but you have to think about what would create that value, right? So if x were 0, we don't knock out the slope like we normally would want to because it's not an x. It's an x minus 3. But what would cause that piece to disappear? What would allow us to just look at 2.74 by itself? Well, if x were 3, right, 3 minus 3 is 0, so then this would knock out, and then we would just be left with the 2.74. Why would x be 3? Well, that would be three months after September 1st, right? So October, November, December, December, D is the answer. So it's an easy adjustment. And again, we could we could play this out by just seeing that this would be when x is 3, plug points and equations, test it out, see how it goes. And yeah, it's going to do exactly what I just showed you. And we could also look at things like A, the average monthly decrease in the price per gallon. Well, if we got that the price at in December was 274, we could then take our 331, subtract the 274, get a rate, and then see what the price is decreasing by each month. Um, it's 0.19, so that aspect is very similar to y equals mx plus b, right? It's a thing attached to the x, but again, it's a little bit weirder than usual, so that would be much more like a slope. And then b, the difference in the average price per gallon from September 1st to 20 uh, December, uh, September 1st to 20 December 1st. Well, again, we could just get those two values and subtract, and then just without dividing by three, we would be able to see that that is the the total uh, difference. But it's not 274. I'm not going to bother with it because um, I do think D is an, an obvious answer as long as you recognize there's something twisted about this question. It's not hard to do. And if you're not thinking about twists, if you're not noticing the twists in these questions as you work your way through a, a math module and a reading module, you're not going to do well in the SAT. This is a fact of the test that you have to encounter, uh, that you're going to encounter and you have to uh, uh, adjust for because you will fall for traps like choice C 
many, many times per SAT, and that's going to cost you a lot of points, and it's going to keep you out of the 700s for sure. 